Hey everybody. Well, I'm sure you're all sick of turkey by now. But if you still have some left, this is what my family does after Thanksgiving. And it's almost worth making the turkey for all by itself. So I'm from San Antonio and I grew up, we always made turkey tacos. And we usually just used regular tortillas. But growing up in San Antonio, we had puffy tacos. And so even though we didn't make them when I was a child, I make them now and oh my gosh, they are so good and most people have never heard of them. But you have now and I'm gonna show you how to make them. It's not difficult. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of playing around with it to get the right consistency. What you're gonna do is take masa arena. It's an instant masa or instant corn, um, corn flour. And you're gonna take this, and there's recipe on the side for tortillas, but you're not gonna stick to this recipe because this is for making tortillas and putting them on a comal or a griddle. We're going to add some extra water. So we're mostly going to just measure out some of the masa and then we're going to add water till we get the right consistency because to get a puffy taco, it, it that water helps it expand and it, you know, they're just that good. So, let me show you what I'm doing. And it's just Brian and I right now. Let's see if I need some more light, maybe. I don't know that that helps at all. Let's try this. That's probably a little bit better. Okay, so I've got one cup of the masa, and I'm going to start with about half a cup of water, but I'm going to keep adding water till I get the consistency that I'm looking for. And this is it's almost trial and error, but once you know what you're looking for, it's not hard. We see this right here is way too much of a paste. So we're going to keep adding water. Okay, that's probably about what the recipe originally calls for. But as you can see, it's still pretty pasty. Now, if you're just going to make some tortillas and put them on the griddle, that's probably fine. That's not what we're doing. These babies are going to be deep fried because that's how they get puffy. So we're just going to work this. And again, it's still really pasty, as you can see. And we want more of a smooth texture. Um, let me think, what, what would I compare it to? It's not super wet, but it's, it's wet enough that it forms easily and that when it hits that hot oil, and in this case, I'm using my favorite, lard. So we're just going to keep adding water until we get what we're looking for. You can see it's, it kind of breaks as you're working it, and that's still too stiff. Okay, 
getting there. And it, it can also take different amounts of water depending on how dry your climate is, how dry the masa mix is. So you can't really go by measurements. The package says to use two cups of masa for one and an eighth cups of water. But I used one cup of masa and I've used almost a cup of water. So you can see it's quite a bit more. Here we go, I think we're getting there now. If you could see, it's much smoother when you run the spatula through. We wanna really work that in. Let's test it. See, and it's not sticky, but it's very soft. And that's what we're looking for. And now, we're just gonna take it and roll the balls about, I mean, good size. I'm gonna do about this size. This will probably make, I don't know, four to six, if I'm lucky. Now what I'm going to do, after I form these balls, I've got the lard heating up over there, but you can use vegetable oil, you can anything like that, shortening. I'm, I think lard has flavor, so that's what I use. But feel free to switch that out. But there is nothing in this except for the corn masa and water. That's it. Okay, and then we're going to cover this with a damp cloth so as we're working it won't dry up. So let me get these finished and I'll show you how you make the tortillas. While I've got, while I'm making the tortillas, I'm going to get the turkey on. This is leftover turkey and I've just cut it into just kind of chunks. I'm gonna use a little bit, probably olive oil, because that's what's handy, and put the turkey in there with some cumin or cumino from my mocha hete, some granulated garlic, black pepper, and a little bit of salt. So let me get this on cooking, and then I'll show you what's next. All right, so I have my cast iron skillet getting hot. Add a little bit of olive oil. And just kind of get that all over the bottom. And then I'm going to add all of that cut up turkey. And this is so simple and there's no measurements. Put enough turkey. I've ground up some comino seeds, cumin in my mocha ete. But you can use ground if you've already got it ground. For some reason, to me, it tastes different. And I put that in first because it kind of gets a toasty cumin flavor. And then I'm going to add some granulated garlic because you can never have enough garlic. Some black pepper. And then I'm going to use garlic salt, but not too much because we've already got plenty of stuff in there. 
And then I'm just going to let this melt the flavors and just mostly stay warm while I cook the tortillas. I'm going to turn that down and just let that stay warm. Now we're going to go back and get those tortillas made. All right, I have my oil getting hot and it's nearly there. It's a little over 300 degrees, but we want it probably 360, 375, somewhere in there where if you drop a small piece of masa in, it's going to start sizzling and cooking right away. And this is my fancy equipment. I took a Ziploc bag, um, freezer bag, and I cut off the seal and I cut off the sides and just left it connected at the bottom. And we are going to use that to put our masa in. And this is a tortilla press. And, you know, it's not necessary, it's nice, and I have it because, let's face it, I grew up in San Antonio and you can get this stuff there. But you could roll these out also. So I'm just going to start it by kind of flattening the ball inside of the bag. And put the plate down. And then press on the handle. And... That is a corn tortilla. Now these are very wet, so we're gonna have to be very careful. And I found that if you kind of do it from the side, that it comes off best. And then flip it over. And we're gonna do the same for the bottom. This is a little bit wet, so it's really wanting to stick. But the nice thing is, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be so good that we don't mind if it's a little bit messy. In fact, your homemade tortillas, normally, they're not perfect because they're homemade. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna check the temperature. And we're going to drop a tiny piece of masa in there and see what happens. Oh yeah, nice sizzle. I'm going to take you over and show you what it looks like. All right, so let's check and see what the temperature of the lard is. Okay, it's about 375. So let's get that tortilla in here. Here we go. And be cautious because the oil is very hot and this has water in it. That's what's going to give us that puffiness. And I'm going to have to turn this fan on so hopefully it's not too loud. But I don't know if you can tell. That thing just poofed up huge. And we're just going to press it down in the oil. Now, I'm probably going to fry most of these flat because we like the flat puppy tacos. Um, we call them chalupas. But 
you can also form the, the regular taco shape by just pressing that on the center. Once it's firmed up just slightly, you want to, don't want to do it too soon, you'll just poke a hole through it. And you just want to get it lightly golden brown. Nice and puffy in the center and golden brown and crispy and oh my gosh it's wonderful. So I'm going to get to making some more of these and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay let's try another one. And I make these one at a time. I don't make them ahead and let them sit. I just It just takes a minute and that's what I like to do. Let's fold this one over so I'll show you what, and I'm just using one side of the tongs to hold up one side. And oh, it's beautiful and puffy. And these are nothing like the tortillas that you buy. Nothing. They're a whole nother creature. And with these, you're going to want to hold one side under for a minute so that it cooks on top. And then hold the other side down for a minute. It'll cooperate. Because you want to get that puffiness right in there. upside down for a minute. all these fried up. Oh, well, there's not that many, but get them fried up and we're going to have tacos. All right, here we go. We've got a puffy taco and the outside is crisp and the inside is just slightly, I'm not going to say chewy, it's just different. Let me fill this thing with some um, turkey. Just a little bit of cheese. A little bit of tomato. And a little bit of avocado. But you could put on it whatever you want. You could put lettuce. This is what I had tonight, so this is what's going in it. All right. And a little bit of salsa. This is my homemade home can salsa. Doesn't that look yummy? Let me take a picture and I will bring you back and I'll tell you how good it is. All right, there is no neat way to eat this thing. I'm just telling you. And it's just nice and poofy.
It is so good. It's just hard to describe the texture of these, but there's just that light crunch on the outside and then the moist, just yummy taste of the tortilla. And it is so worth doing this. And the turkey, if you haven't had turkey tacos, you need to try it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.